Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I um, just wanted to show my mini page for the Your Paper Pantry All Hallows Eve mini, mini, mini swap. And what we do is <clears throat> we have groups of 8 to 10 people, and um, each month we have a theme. This October it's Pirates, um, and September was the Halloween, and um, I'm putting this up late because... Um, actually, I'm um, just putting mine together now, <laughs> but I'm still waiting for pages to come in, so I'm okay. Anyways, um, so 8 to 10 people are in the group, and each person makes, uh, like, it's smaller than, you know, like usually 4 by 6 or smaller page. And they each make a page, and they just make 8 of them, and then they send them either to myself or Monica D, and we put them together, we, add, we each add a page to the book. We put them together, bind them, and then send them back out to everybody so everybody gets a really cool mini album that has other people's work in it. So it's really, really, we've had some really cool ones. Um, Alice in Wonderland and um, Birds of a Feather, and now this one is All Hallows Eve. And um, what I did, <clears throat> this is my prototype, um, and I kind of just wanted to do one on Wee Witches, as in Little Tiny Witches. So I just put this, typed this out on my computer, and it's just, it's, um, I use the Tim Holtz, um, hanging sign die, and I cut this out of, like, cereal box cardboard, and embossed it with black, and then added some copper highlights so it looks kind of rusty and old, and then this part of the sign, I bought this this summer, it's from Michael's, of course, it's Deco Art Texture and I was looking at it I wanted to get like a metallic rust system or colors so that I could rust up some metals for the Alice in Wonderland because I did Alice in Steampunk Land or Steampunk Alice that was just my page theme so I'm looking at this and I thought well that it's real shiny and stuff so I thought I wanted to and then I read that it said texture so I thought iron like texture iron like and I thought, well, so I opened it up, and there was a cover thing on it, and I just peeled it up a little bit, and then my nail, my finger went right into the thing. So I had to buy it. So I have this whole tub of this stuff, and I'm using it on every project I can think of. So anyways, but it's really cool. So it really looks like iron. Like, this is what this background is, and it's real textury and cool. And I love kind of the green, you know aged patina. So that's what I did with the hanging sign, the sign part. And then I printed this. This is just white copy paper. And my sign says, We Witches, all shapes, all sizes, available for stirring cauldrons, broom tying, and cat tending. And then what I also did is I cut, I printed out all a few of my little girls. These are just pictures that I've collected from antique shows and um, whatnot, and they're just all these little girls so I'm going to put them all over my thing my page and put little witches hats on them um, here's another one this baby I love <laughs> isn't she cute so um, I gotta do that so that's what I did I've got a little witch back here this one it's it's hard to tell if it's a boy or a girl I think it's a She's got a little cross-eyed, a little bit cross-eyed, but it's cute. And then there's a little witch, and there's a little witch holding her doll. That's that. This is actually a friend of mine when she was little in her doll. So that's kind of fun to have. And then this is a cute little rosette from Making Memories, Toil and Trouble. And I used the Martha Stewart paper for the background on here. But then I kind of wanted almost like... Not so black, but kind of more cute, you know, for the little witches. And so I found this paper. I, I bought this this summer. It's Life Stories, My Mind's Eye. It's all craft paper. But, I mean, this was like really, really, this was really thick. And I have used this paper so much. It's kind of just got really different, you know, you know, different cool stuff. So I use, I'm using that for the background instead. There's like a kind of a, a purpley pink 
and then a, just a nice green. And um, I do have to tell a little witch story. When I was in third grade, our our school was going to have like an all grade Halloween pageant, and so they picked a couple students from each class to be in it. Well, they picked me to be the witch, and I was so excited because I thought I was going to be this really you know scary witch like from the Wizard of Oz and so our parents had to make costumes and that so I'm all excited thinking oh I get to wear this really black scary costume and green face and pointy witch hat well my mom made my dress out of black calico because she wanted me to be a cute witch and so um, we have little pictures of me standing up there because you know we all had to sing like each person or whatever and I have this crabby little face so I look kind of scary anyways but I was so mad because I wanted to be a scary witch instead I was a cute witch but so this is kind of an uh, homage to that um, fond memory of my mom because she you know she's like oh honey you're so cute you want to be a cute witch and I'm like so anyways my pictures the pictures they have of me I'm just like really crabby and pouty and about like what I am now. So anyways, um, on the back, I just painted, you know, I just cut out some chipboard 4x6, and the key to this mini album that we do is to leave an inch and a half on the front left, and an inch and a half, you know, like don't put embellishments over here, like just paper is fine, because then we can put it through the bind it all, and I think we're going to be able to do it this month. A lot of ever, other months, people can't resist and so I just have been using binding rings but so far all the pages that have come in I think I'm gonna be able to finally bind it with the bind it all. I'm so excited because I think it'll look cool um, so on the back I just put this little baby first I cut out um, some pages you know just Halloween papers with the uh, Martha Stewart corner and around the page punch and I'm gonna do a um, tutorial on this because here's a little secret for some of our viewers I was having a really hard time with that because um, you know when Sam came and clear and clean helped me clean and organize my lair she said girl you got you know because I keep stuff in all the boxes and packages and whatnot and she's like girl that's half your problem you got to get this stuff out of the boxes okay so I threw away the box for that thing and that's where the instructions were see so I um, searched around Martha's website. Oh, first I called Yoli because I thought, well, Yoli knows everything. Well, guess what? I found. You know, guess where she was? She was at Joanne's with Laura Contessa Cre Creations, spending all her money. So, anyways, I asked her, and she goes, and she didn't know. She goes, oh no, I've got one, but I don't know how to do it yet. So I thought, well, Sam must, because she gave me this set, you know. Same thing. She goes, girl, I've got some. I haven't even used them yet. So anyways, I finally went to Martha Stewart's website and I found out how to do it, but it still doesn't work. They say that you have to do, I mean, look at, it looks like the, the witch's rat started chewing on my paper because you have to cut it a certain increments and I did it with three and a, it says three and a quarter and then a, one and a quarter and one and three quarters inches increments after that. Well, it still isn't perfect. Like, it's close. Actually, I fudged this one. I think I did three and an eighth by three, no, by four and seven eighths and it came out pretty close. So I'm really going to have to practice and then I will do a tutorial because I'm going to do this until I get it right. But so anyways, that's how my, I'm just going to leave it. I just jammed them around so it looks like the rat started chewing on the spider webs. Okay, so I painted this, and this is the back side. I painted my dabbered black around, just the edges. Put down my chewed up mat and then my little baby. And then, what other one? This little baby, look at how cute she is. She's like, what? Just all, like, they just don't look like they like to have their pictures taken. And then this little girl. Isn't that cute? Her little page boy. Cute outfit. 
Then I just um, put typed up a list. We witches of your pan. Uh, we witches of paper pantry. And then these are all the names that are in it, except I have to change one. And then just the time, the date, and the name. And then these are little making memories, toil and trouble labels. And then I made a little um, stick pen. And oops, this is from an old necklace that I found at a antiques in my bag in my antique jewelry. And then this is May Arts ribbon that are all bats. I just cut them off and glued a bat on so the little witch has a cute bat and then these are um, I am roses no I am not no these are I am roses and then this is a recollection rose and so that's my page so I will do um, I will I will also do a video on the whole books but this is my page and then when I do the video on the whole book I won't go into mine I'll just show it so um, thanks for watching, and I'll do a little bit of putting it together here now. Thanks.